What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be hopping onto the expert rank ladder and trying to get some wins and showing off the high level gameplay. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But before we get started in today's video, I want to go into my items. I want to see if I can actually level up anything and rock out from there. Considering We've been grinding out this game on stream. So if you guys want to catch extra content from me, head down the link in the description below. There's a link to my Twitch page, Jeans25 on Twitch. Go hit that follow button, turn on notification. Your boy is streaming five plus days every single week. But these are items that we're holding on our Greninja right now, which I kind of might want to switch something out. I kind of might want to go in with my muscle band, start leveling this up. Because people do say muscle band is where it's at for Greninja. Let me just keep mashing this A button, trying to level it up. Uh, let's keep let's keep it on. I think I'm just going to give everything to it. Muscle band, let's go muscle band again. It gives me basic attack speed and it gives me attack boost, so that's huge. So I can actually level it up to level 10. I think we are going to switch out the uh, energy amplifier for it. Shell Bell is nice because it is special attacking. Hmm, I think I'm going to take off the energy amplifier and go in with the muscle band over that for Greninja at least. And Pikachu, I might just give the same items for right now. Pikachu is really nice. I do like Pikachu. Now I just gotta get more stuff to start leveling up my items a lot more. But that is exactly what I want to do. And now we can actually go hop over into our battles. And we are super close to expert. Super close. Look at this. We're in great class four. One more win, we get it. We've been grinding on stream. We've been doing really, really well. So hopefully we can actually hop into this battle and get ourselves a win and get that expert tier. Which would be awesome. So let's ready up here. I'm not going to be playing as the same character in uh, all the battles today. I'm going to be starting off with Grand Ninja. Trying to get ourselves to win. Push us up into that expert tier. And then probably switching over to maybe like Pikachu or something. Considering these are the only characters I have so far. Is these guys right here. Are these guys right here. Let me go into my battle prep and actually switch my items. Other items. Let's switch you out for a swap. And for the muscle band. Let me get rocking with that. Let's see what uh, lane this guy wants to go into. I mean I'm going to call central lane. And see what he does. Because I love to play jungle with Greninja. I think it is uh, awesome. I think he's really, really strong there. And our item or our battle item is our eject button now instead of potion. So your boys learned we're doing really good. We got two top lane. Hopefully Zorora goes bot. If you want jungle, I'll go bot. So let's see what he says. All nine tells should 100% go bot. Because I've been playing uh, I've been playing live on Twitch and like I've been having like teammates that are going like three in the bottom lane, one in the top, and one jungle. Like yo, what are you guys doing? Like play the game right. Go two top, two bottom, one in jungle, and we rock out from there. That's how I like to play. And yo, we switch characters, which is dope. We switched to a support. Now they should. We have a lot of support. Oh, he's switching too. He's going to go bottom path. And he switches to Aurora now. Maybe he'll still go top. Those guys switched like last second. They're just like, all right. It's because I took jungle. He could have called me off a of jungle and I would have been like, all right, you can have it. But yo, let's get this expert. We were actually in expert last game, but I lost it. This was uh, when I was live because I legit stopped being live to go record for YouTube. But, but we were expert, and then we lost it, and I dropped down, which stinks, but it happens. It happens. We're going to get ourselves a win here, and we're going to get that expert tier for you guys. And then I, what's after that? I don't even know. But they say once you hit expert tier, that is where, like, strategy actually, like, starts to come into effect. And a lot of people are stuck in the expert tier, so hopefully your boy can be a little bit better and just fly through it and get to the next tier. But you guys already know, I'm a main Grand Ninja. Gotta love him. I still don't have everyone unlocked because it takes so long to actually get some people. Let's go there. I'm gonna go little jungle area. Jungle action. Get this little pup out of my face. But dude, jungle, you get so many quick levels. You get so many quick levels. The muscle man, we are teeing off. Where's this Ludicolo at? We are already rocking onto it. Ludicolo, what's goody? The muscle man rocks. And I need to get more uh more like I or radiant points. Is that what they're called? To level up uh, items. It really helps me level up so much quicker and be so much stronger in the games. But I feel like some people have, like, fully maxed out items, and they kill me because of that. Let's take out you, and then go after these core fish. But the best part about being a jungler with Greninja is we get levels so quick, and, I, and I'm legit like a frogadier in, like, two seconds. Like, watch. Once I kill this core fish, I'm going to be a frogadier, and we're going to be able to get after it. I'll go with the KO, so I'm going to go help out the top lane after I get these KOs, because that's going to be all the enemies. And I am frogadier already ready to rock out. So let's sneak up in here, see if we can actually pick up a KO. He's resting. I'm gonna actually dash up on you and just bubble and see if I can pick up a KO here. Get him out of here and let's see off on you. Is that anyone gonna help me out here? Alright, that's fine. We could have had a double, but I'll take one and I'm gonna head back to the jungle. A core fish spawn. Eee, yo! Eject button and all that. Get back, baby. Let me get the speed boost here. Oh my lord, yo. Get him out of here, dude. I had the eject button. 
dip back. I'm gonna go under base, under tower, and uh, grab ourselves a nice little uh, citrus berry. Are there any over here? There's one. That's mine. Thank you. <laughs> Just went up there and stole that from him real quick. But yeah, that's relax. It was it was came after my throat, man. Was not dealing with them. You get that KO. Any core fish still down here? No, no core fish. There's core fish chilling here. Let's see if I can snag that from my teammates. Yo, I'm dip, dip, dip back, dip back. Can I dip, yo? I'm lagging a little bit. This is rough. I was lagging on my stream too. I didn't like it one bit. I was like, yo, why I got lag? I really don't want to fight under tower, so you guys can actually dip back a little bit. If I can just pester damage and stuff. So I do have shell bell, so I do get a little bit of HP at a time. And I'm gonna head back through the jungle. See if there's any core fish down here. Yes, there is. God love it. Gotta love getting me some core fish. And I almost have my eject button, which is huge. Where'd you go? There you are. I got my eject button. Let's grab this. And here comes Swax. Keep getting after this thing. Going after these guys now. I'm trying to get some HP. I need to get some points. I need I do need to score some points. And Cramer is going under tower here, so I'm gonna dip onto him. Dip onto him and start teeing off on him. Bubble up. I missed my bubbles, of course. I'll chill under here, get some HP. Wait for my elder to come back here. And Cramer is going through the mid. He's going through the mid. There he is, that buttery biscuit. I'm going to go try to score some points. While he's over there, that's probably my best bet. I'm stacked on 30. Let's see if we can actually destroy his tower and rock out with scores. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, sir. I do have a jack button ready to rock. I do have water striking now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Greninja out and about. I'm ready to rock it. Yo, get back. Yo, I, I'm lagging. I'm not moving. And I use my water strike. And you guys saw like the little uh, this little arrow go up on it. I don't know if I get it here. There we go. Nice damage there. They have a smoke screen ready to rock. Smokes is coming in hot. I got dip back. Well, I can actually dip up. Did I get him? Got him. All right, now I can eject button back. Yes, sir. Yo, Gene's running. Gene's doing dirty work. I should dip back a little bit. I'm going to die if not. But I want to push up and maybe sneak a KO. But I, I've been trying to play a lot smarter. I've been trying to play a lot smarter here with, with my Greninja because I know he's super, super squishy. So, I've been trying to play a lot smarter and not push up when I shouldn't. Or when I have a chance dying, I should really only push up when I know I can either pick up a KO or be fine when I'm pushing up. But I'm going to go switch over to this top lane. We have uh, what's called now, which is awesome. We have Rotom. Oh, yo, dude, this chick was hiding in the bush. What you want? Let's see, is that defenseless goal zone? Oh, we can get rid of you easily. Get that thing out of here, yo. Let's rock it. I got some points here. Ivysaur is lagging or he's just chilling back here? He's just chilling back here. But he's super low level, so we can, <laughs> we can just pounce on him and tell him to go home. So there we go. Get him out of my face. Snorax is here. He's level 9. I really don't want to mess with him. Oh, nice. And I can't hit him when he's floating up in the air. That's a little whack. That's a little whack. I cannot help you out here. I'm sorry. I did check button out. No! Why would it dip that way? Bro, why would it dip that way? I had it. I just, I, want, I check button back, and I wanted to go that way. But I guess I didn't aim it right. But it happens. I wanted to just smoke screen up into that corner. I would have been fine. Even if I would have hit my water strike, and I would have been fine. Or drop my ult. But I'm chilling. I got a lot of levels. I'm just going to head back to the jungle. Try to take out this boof land. I think Slowbro is going to go over here. I'll take out the boof land and you to get their power-ups from it. That's what I love about being jungler. You get power-ups from these guys right here. Which is dope. Take you out. And we're going to come after you. And I get tons of Pokeballs. That's the main purpose of a jungler, is to come help out the top and bottom lanes when needed and come in with a lot of Pokeballs. Because you're basically just farming enemies. So you should have a lot of Pokeballs in early game stages. So when you come up to score, you should just be able to slam dunk and put up a lot of points. Especially in close games. Like games like this, I probably will not be top scorer because we're running really well with it. Of course, I miss all them. I can actually off on you. Oh, another guy came. Where'd that Snorlax come from? I'm super confused, but... Hey, it's all good. Bro, I was sitting there and there was two. I was like, let me just let me just unite on them. And the next thing I know, Snorlax is up and about. Uh, we can super jump. I have decent amount of level, so I think we should be fine with those deaths. He's teeing off from there. I'm coming up. I'm trying to help you out a little bit. Oh, Kramer is ulting. I'm sorry. You got to dip back. You got to get out of there. Kramer is ulting. And yo, we're lagging a little bit, if you guys can't tell. Uh, can I dip back with my smoke screens? Yep. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Unless I have a jack button. Oh, thank you, Slowbro. Come on, come on, come on. Need some help. Oh, HP back. I dip. A check button. Yep. A check button coming up clutch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just all period, we were able to escape. Alive. And now I'm just going to recover HP under tower and then rope up this way. Need this thing. And can we pick up some KOs here? Oh, we should be able to get him all day. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. 
That water strike in, and Cinderace is coming towards the tower right here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Dreadnought's down here, right? Let's get this Dreadnought. We have multiple people. We should be able to get Dreadnought no problem if people will come up here with me. Or am I going to have to do this on my own? Because if I get Dreadnought, my whole team gets uh, HP. Or gets a shield. I should actually go help out. Maybe that's Cinderace. Nah, I'm going to keep getting this Dreadnought on our own. That's huge if we can get this. The Dreadnought and Rotom both have specialties. So just, Rotom will go up and take out a base and make it defenseless. But, huge, but Dreadnought gives you 20. And now he's recovering HP. I need some help here. There we go. Attack and Dreadnought. Thank you. We have a huge lead. Awesome. Dreadnought will give you 20 Pokeballs. And then your team will get shields. So it's great for pushing up on sites. Or bases. Sites, bases, whatever you want to call it. I'll sit back. Watch out. Yes, yo. Nice water striking by me, dude. That was lovely. Cramorant's here. See if we can get rid of him. Oh, he's ulting. Let me dip out of this. Not dealing with that. Get back, baby. Can't deal with you guys right now. Need my moves. That's Roar on our team? He is indeed. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's all good. So Roar might be able to get it. I think he's ulted. And now Ligoth's going to go help out. Beautiful. Get him out of here. Go score some points now. The bases are cleared. Go home. Just go right down the lane. I hate when uh, like stuff like that happens and they don't push up onto to lanes. Uh, I'm going to go pop through the jungle. Play really defensively. I'm going to go through the jungle. We have Zapdos here. And Zapdos can legit win you guys or lose you guys games. So when it comes down to Zapdos, how I like to play it is, if you're in the lead or you think you have a lead, defend Zapdos. Defend Zapdos, at least try to go for it. But if you are losing, go straight for Zapdos. It's, it's your last ditch effort. But I think Zapdos is like key to winning. Because like I won a game like you can win games with like in within 20 seconds after you get a Zapdos. It's huge. But I'm chilling here. I have my Unite move, so I'm just gonna save it in case uh their team gets rolling up on us. But we should just keep teeing off on this thing. Because if we get this, it's game over. Which we should have it easily now. We're just going off on this thing. Beautiful. Awesome. Smoke stream plus. Goal zones are defenseless, which means you can roll up and just get after it with no turns or no time. Look at this, yo. We're just steamrolling here. Let's take these guys out. I'm going to ult up on the Cramorant. And just score these points real quick. Yep. Defenseless. Bang. And now we're going to take out Cramorant. Get him out of here. Let's rush up. I got 17 points now. Cinderace is there. I don't care if you kill me now. We just scored 200 points. And that's going to secure us a win and put us into, uh... Put us into Expert. Put us right into Expert. Let me score these real quick. Oh, this is not defenseless anymore. Dang it. I thought it was. So I'm in there like matching A. <laughs> Yo, look at this Ivy Sword. This Ivy Sword just quit. He's like, I'm done. These guys are kicking my butt. I'll take a free kill. Run into my stat board. It's a check button out here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I missed all my water strikings there. Actually, I hit one. I get another one. If I get another one, we should be chilling. I can come up here and just do this. <laughs> get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Complete domination for battle number one, which is awesome. And we're going to be hopping into battle number two after this one. And I think I'm going to use a different Pokemon. Maybe go top lane with Pikachu. But we might actually end up doing uh, three battles for today's video. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And now I'm lagging, but there we go. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's destroy this thing. Which I shouldn't be doing, but I know we, we won this battle for sure. Like, if this was, like, a like, like a decently close battle, we'd be trying to push in to get some more points. But 551 to 180. Bang, baby. Bang! Let's get it. Let's get it. But yeah, I wish I, I wish I had more time to grind this game because I've been super busy because I would love to be pushing rank so much. So I've only been pushing rank just a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're already up to experts. So I would love to see what I could do if I had more time on my hands. But nine kills. Led the team in kills. Elder Goss had most points. I probably should have most points as a jungler. But I think we played really well considering it was just domination right off the rip. There's expert class. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it. Level 12 as well. Level 12 and expert. And we get some item enhancers too. Let's return back to that main menu, and I feel like that muscle band really did help us out. I'm actually going to go upgrade my muscle band, and we're going to actually grab these things. I think that muscle band was awesome. I think it was awesome. So let's go back into our item box, our, or our battle prep, and our held items. Yeah, it's our held items. And we go rock out with the muscle band. Let's upgrade this. Can I upgrade it? Upgrade. How much is it? 25. Jeez, man. These things are going to take so much level up. I definitely should buy the battle pass, but I actually want to go into the shop and see if I can buy any new Pokemon. Let's see. I'm not going to buy Cinderace. I really want Cinderace, but I'm not going to buy him considering I get him in like 
two days, something like that. And I can't even buy anybody. I need six thousand at least. And we might buy Charizard next. Charizard's a really cool character. I might end up buying Charizard next or Talonflame. Gengar is really strong. I really want Gengar, but we shall see. I think the best characters are more expensive. Cinderace we get soon, so there's no need to buy. I get Cinderace and I think I get one more. I think I get one more. Or was it just Cinderace? I'm going to have to check. But definitely one. Oh, it was Greninja, but we, we bought Greninja early because I really want him. I'm thinking I'm going to buy Charizard next. I think that could be a lot of fun. That could be a lot of fun, but we need more coins. Did I complete any missions? Well, I do have my daily missions. Oh, and we get Crustle soon, which is awesome. We do indeed get Crustal. We get some more of these points. Get this, and I can actually complete day six challenges and claim that. And we should get gold from some of these. Claim that. Oh no, we got a free assault vest. And what we gotta do for this? Reach level 13. And then after we get that, then we get this. And that's day seven, which is gonna be dope. And that has 23 days, but we have just been crushing this game and rocking out from there. But I feel like you get a lot of stuff from just uh from just leveling up. That's how you get your better items, uh, your better uh what else is there? Like more money and stuff. But I think we're gonna play Pikachu here. If he she hops off, yeah, I'm gonna play Pikachu. I'm gonna play Pikachu and battle prep him up. Let's give him muscle band, shell bell, and we got Floyd Stone, movement, speed, and attack. Let's go Floyd Stone. Do well, I wanna go energy amplifier? Energy amplifier is nice. Cooldown's a little bit less, but now we're gonna go, go with these items and rock it with that. And I do want a jack button on you. The jack button's just so good all around. And then here are our moves. We got Electro Ball, which I really like. I really do like Electro Ball when you get it leveled up. Electro Ball Plus is nice. What's it do again? It uh, hurls the ball. Leaves, leaves them paralyzed for a short time. Or do I want... No, I really want... Hmm, Thunderbolt. I do like Electro Ball, though. I usually go... Uh, what is it? I usually go Thunderbolt and... Uh, and Electro Ball. Those are usually my two moves I like to go. With these guys. Considering Thunder Thunderbolt can paralyze and Electro Ball is a guaranteed hit, which is amazing. It just hits 100% of the time. And I'm going to go... I'm going to tell my team I'm going to go... I, I think time's up. But I'm going to go bot lane. I'm going to play a little bit of bot lane for you guys. So if you guys have been watching my streams, I've just been grinding Grand Ninja in the top and the, uh, the central lane. But let's get some Pikachu gameplay going. Rock out here. And I promise you guys, we are next Pokemon Unite video. We're going to have some new characters for you guys. Cinderace for sure. We'll probably do a whole video on Cinderace because that's a really strong Pokemon that a lot of people like. And I should be able to buy another Pokemon by that time. So that's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. But team is looking real good. If we throw Zoror or Gengar in the jungle, me in the bottom lane with either the Snorlax or Crustle and then the other guy with the Snorlax or Crustle, we have two defensive bulks. Crustle is really good. If any of you guys use Crustle... Good for you guys. Yo, Crustle's sick. Crustle is sick. But let's get the let's get our E-Web right off the rip. I do like having E-Web. I don't know why. It's just like having it. Yes, yeah, Snorlax in this lane with me. And Crustle and Zorora should go that lane. And yeah, and Gengar has the jungle. Loving it. Loving it. Expert tier battles. Let's run it. I don't want to die too earlier. I don't want to die too earlier. This guy keeps getting all the kills, man. And it's kind of annoying me. There we go. I got some. I'm getting some. Your boy's getting some. And now we have Thunder Shock, which is awesome. Eventually, we'll get Thunderbolt. I won't be able to rock out from there. And there should be another Apom up here, right? No, there is a Audino, though. Teen off on that. She's my moves. Hey, oh, hey, oh, Crustle. I'm going to try to get rid of this thing. Chill on me. Oh, there's another Pikachu here? What do you mean? Let's try to get rid of this thing. I'd rather get a KO on that thing. And now we have Electro Ball. We're to level up. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Big KO from Snorlax. Can we get up on this thing? If I can get this thing with this. Yep. 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 Eject button now. Double KO. Snorlax, I need you here. Snorlax, I need you here. Snorlax, I need you here, bro. Bro, we had that. We had that all day. He didn't use one move. I was surviving on like one using my abilities. I couldn't do anything. I was sitting there waiting. We take him out. We get some points, man. Now Pikachu takes out Snorlax. I got to chill in her tower. What's goody, boys? Let me put you in a web. Let me put you in a web. How about that? No, you don't like that. No, you don't like when I put you in a web. But let's keep teeing off here, dude. We we have, we, have, we could have had a strong start there. Could have had a real strong start there. But for now, I'm just going to chill back here. Take out these Aldinos and stuff. Let me Pikachu can back off. And maybe I can pick up this kill on this thing. Yeah, I did, which is wonderful. He's using the bushes right here. Z webbing me. Strongs do not push up too too much. They're under tower and stuff. So let's just let's just float back here for now. 
Gengar, you can defend that top goal zone. I'm gonna go kill you. Do that. And keep Teen off from there. I love it. E-Web. <laughs> E-Web is so good early on. Oh, dude, if I had E-Web here, we could be rocking out here. Uh, I got an eject button, I think. Yep. That's a little eject button. Don't be afraid to use your items. Do not be afraid to use items. They will save your life. They'll pick you up some kills. They're awesome all around. Here's Aurora. Can I E-Web him? I get him with that? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Kill him. Let me get back. Get back. All right, we're doing that. I'm going to get Thunderbolt here. I got the Pikachu. Should have that Pikachu, no problem. And Crustle should not be able to kill me while I'm under this tower, which is huge. Yes, let's go. Let's go, Snorlax. Get up. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Get some points. Score him. Score him and then dip back. E I get, do I have a jack button? I do not have a jack button. Okay, that's fine. I'm dead. That's fine. I'll take the points all dang day. I'll take those points all day, even though they're probably going to get points too. So that might have been a little rough. Zorora's back, though. I dig that. So Zorora's back. Dreadnought appeared. Let's roll up here. Is Zorora still alive for us? He might not be. No, he's not. He died. You buttery biscuit. I'm coming. Dad, that's coming. Get that Thunderbolt on these guys. Chill on me. Don't touch my citrus berries. He has my citrus berries. Did I get stunned? Oh, I missed that. Can we get these guys? Do not go after him. He's going to tee off on you. I think I got to help him out a little bit. Nope. Cannot really do much. Get him. Throw that. Oh, now we're getting after it. My ability is just ripped on these guys. Let's go. So we're, we got to go score some points. We got to get up on it, so we're, I know you got a lot of... I know you got a lot of stuff and things. So we're with two KOs there. That's huge. Yeah, yo, he has tons. He's going to break that, so that's big. I'm just going to farm these enemies instead. Oh, why did that thing go away? Let's take out Dreadnought. Let's take out Dreadnought here. Anyone want to help me out? Anyone want to help me out here? Nobody. Nobody wants help out. That's whack. Dude, a lot of people don't understand, like, taking out enemies like this, like Dreadnought, is huge for your, your game. It's huge for your game. Like, yeah, we get rid of this thing, we get shields. Can we take him out before Zorora rolls up? Yes, okay, we got it. So now we have a shield. Oh, that's our Zorora. What am I thinking? So we get XP and we get shields, which is enormous. It is enormous. We're playing super well right now. Super solid. Holding off really well. And we are rolling up pretty strong. And this is the time to roll up. We have Dreadnought, we have points. We have shields. We should just be able to take out tower. Got it. Let's go. Get him out of here. You go. We'll fight you right under tower. Yo, can you guys all hit up on this thing? It's an easy KO if we all hit up on this thing. Yep, thank you. You have any Pokeball? Score him. Go ahead. Put him in the goal. <laughs> I have my ult, and Pikachu's ult is so good. It's just a giant Thundershock in a giant area. So, that can rock out for us. I'm going to head up into the jungle just for a little bit. Just try to get some more XP so I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. Just sitting around doing nothing is the worst. Huge lead rocking for you boys. And it's going to come down to Zappings. Like it always does. Like it always does. They just scored 40. I'm fine with that. Fine. Thunderbolt on to you. And I actually almost have my Electro Ball Plus, I think. I think level 10 I get it, right? And I see you coming after me. I see you coming after me, Crustle. Come on, Crustle. Let me just stun you there. You know, let me ult on you. Gengar's coming in here, and I want you out the way. Jesus, this thing is so good. I think he ulted as well. I think he saw me ulted, and he ulted as well. Because his HP went through the roof. I'm going to eject button over here. <laughs> yeah, nice little you going. I'm just going to keep on this uh, bot lane. I'm just going to keep leveling up and going from there. And that, and I swear Venusaur is coming up towards me. I do not like. Let's see if I can eject button back. Nice ult. That's a beautiful ult to actually dip back. See, like, that, that's a great example. Like, ults can be used for uh, dipping or, like, attacking at the same time. It can be defensive or it can be offensive, which he just used it perfectly on the defensive side to get back and be fine. And let this top lane roll. Our top lane's doing really well. So again, I'm just going to keep leveling up and just playing this one slow. They're heading to the top path. Dreadnought up here. Let's go get this uh, Gengar. I think Gengar's going to slide over here with me. While everybody's in that top lane, we should be able to just be fine here. Just tee off on this thing. Yes, yeah, sir, Gengar. Gengar, read, read my mind. See, Gengar knows how to play. This Gengar knows how to play this game. We'll get rid of this thing. Whole team gets shield. Whole team gets XP. And we'll rock out. And we're going to push up on this lane. Pushing up, baby. I don't think anyone's here. So I should have a free, free lane here to get 32 Pokeballs. And he should be able to come in here with 23 and finish off this whole set. All right. So beautiful play by your boys. By your boys. So like, I don't care about kills in this when I'm playing ranked. I care about playing the game how it's supposed to be played. And uh, doing it that way. Yo, Zoror just picked up a four-piece. 
He just picked up a five piece. Yo, we had a team sweep. Is that Arsavora? That is so dope. We just had a team sweep. Five points for us. That's huge. But Zapdos is going to spawn soon. So I'm just going to get rid of this thing. And I'm going to come up here and try to score some points if I can. Oh, that's our, our guy right there. All right, these guys hit me hard. I just want my eight points in there. Send my ult so I don't die. Yes, sir. Dip. Oh, I dodged the solar beam. Yo, get back. Get back. I missed my stun. E Chill on me. Yo, what's up, Crustle? Get out of here, Crustle. Leave me alone. Need a stun. Ah, I need that stun. Need a little bit of shell bell stuff. And <laughs> he was coming after me for days. He was coming after me for days. But what we got to do here is Zapdos spawns at 15. I'm going to get over there. I probably should have saved my ult there instead of trying to get greedy with kills under tower. But only way these guys win is, is if they get Zapdos. Now, luckily, I spawn in time. I have my abilities ready to rock. I'm a decent level. I can defend myself. And we're going to get over here and defend Zapdos. Oh, little lag. little lag there. little lag. But right now, I'm just not even going to do anything. I'm not even going to touch Zapdos. I'm going to try to get rid of these guys. So they don't pester me later. Headed to the central area. Yep, Snorax, let's go. Yo, our boys are teen off here. Our boys are teen off. So if we can get Zapdos, that's GG's. Zapdos is super important. Let's stun Zapdos. And we have it. It's going to be game. Keep going after Zapdos. We got it. We just got Zapdos. That's GG's. And I want to take out you. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'll take the assist. So now, points are doubled. And goal zone is defenseless for a little bit. So I can roll up there and just score a quick hondo. Let's get him, Crustle. This should be light work. Yep. <laughs> get him out of our face. Get him out of our face. I should, I'm just going to run up here and put up the points and see how many we can get. Score it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. The points are ridiculous. I don't care if I die. I don't care if I die. That's GG's. But we were talking about this on stream. How insanely OP Zapdos is endgame. It, it, it's going to win you or lose you the match every single time. And we were saying, like, it's so OP right now. Like, you, they have to do something about it. Like, it's cool that it makes goal zones defen defenseless. But there shouldn't be. We were, we were saying that there shouldn't be double points in the last two minutes. Should not be double points because one 50 point bomb turns into 100, which is game winning. It's game winning, just one of them. So imagine goal zones are defenseless, which they are when you when you get Zapdos and having 100 points per shot with everybody having 50. So that's potentially 500 points, which is more than what most people can score in all every single game, like th the whole game. That's nuts, isn't it? It's just crazy. Oh my god, I'm ripping. I'm ripping. Thunderbolt, man. He's just standing still. He gave up. <laughs> we'll take a double KO for the win, but there we go, yo. Ultra tier win. Big old ultra tier win. Or not ultra tier, expert tier. I gotta mix up because it goes great, and I think it should go ultra because the Pokeballs. 829 to 175. God dang. God dang. Yeah, we are teeing off. One thing I. I want to do before we finish off today's video, we're actually going to keep it to two battles. We played solid. Four KOs, 11 assists. I was just assist king that game. I was doing really well. I thought I should have more kills. Zorora went popping off. Gengar popped off. But I scored the second most points. But still, I was second most valuable player considering two earlier. Our score, our main score. But we played really, really well. Really, really well. But before we actually uh, head off of today's video, I want to go check out my stats. I want to go check out my stats. See my win percentage, all that good stuff. Show you guys how I've been doing. Let's go over here, and it should be under profile. Number of battles, 45. Was it profile? Can I just click on profile? That's just my profile. What is this? Little things. Oh, these are little uh, things. Battle record. I'm a, almost a 70% win rate, which is huge. My favorite Pokemon are these three. My average score is 110, which is solid. Uh, fair play points. Let me, let, me, let me get my gold, because you guys know these coins are expensive. Uh, 68 win percentage on Grand Ninja, 60 on Pikachu, 100 on Venusaur, and 100 on Cinderace, even though we only did two and three battles. I feel like we've been really good at this game. I feel like we've been rocking out for it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next Pokemon Unite video, we're going to be showing off new characters and hopefully be higher up in the Ultra rank. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.